Hi folks, Dominic Reyes here from The Merchant of Magic. Today I wanted to talk to you about keeping your audiences engaged while you're performing. Now it's a problem that magicians, especially close-up magicians, face all the time, mainly because of the venues and the style of events that they perform in. It's very, very difficult to keep uh, the attention span of an audience when there's so many other com competing forms of entertainment there designed to, to keep them engaged and, and capture their interest. Now, magicians from maybe the golden age of magic didn't have that problem quite to the same extent. And I think the reason for that is that our audiences now have had their attention span shortened, uh, mainly by the media and culture. We're used to passively receiving information from television uh, and the internet and our smartphones. Um, we're not really maybe so used to sitting down and really paying attention to something in order to get the information and, and the, uh, the reward from it. We want everything fed to us very quickly. Now a lot of great magic works against that because you need to engage with it, understand the whole situation and slowly build up to a climax and for the magic to happen. So it can be really tempting for magicians to try and um, fix that by speeding up and trying to put as many magic tricks into their act as possible to engage spectators that way. But it isn't necessarily required. By using something called variation and building variation into your existing magic act, you can perform only maybe a few tricks and you can take your time performing them and still engage the spectator's interest. Now the key for variation is to change things around. Not necessarily the tricks you do, as I said, um, but maybe the pace that you perform them, maybe the duration of the tricks, uh, and maybe as well um, the, the style of the trick, even though the, the props are the same. So uh, a mentalist, for example, might only do mind reading, um, but they can add some comedy into that, they can add some suspense, maybe a, a slightly darker theme to the magic. And a card magician, again, can do some flourishing and some, some card tricks, but they can also add in suddenly some comedy or they can do some card tricks which play with um, uh, perhaps the expectations of the audience, then suddenly a light-hearted trick. And they're, essentially, they're varying the, the um, style of the magic, yet still keeping their common theme. Another very useful technique um, is to change your pace or your tempo within the magic. So you're not speeding up, but at certain points you may be slowing down. Um, at certain points you're stopping and pausing and then going on for a climax and moving on with the magic. So the key here to get people's attention is really to change around the style or the presentation of the magic rather than perhaps the actual magic routines that you use. You can still use your favourite tricks, uh, but with each trick maybe look at it and see what dead moments I, you can remove, what could be shortened, could you introduce a small climax into a trick if perhaps there's a long period of time before a magical event happened. Um, so I hope that's helped, it's a quick little tip. If you've got any questions or problems, give us uh, an email at support at magicshop.co.uk and check out the blog as well, which is blog.magicshop.co.uk.